to Rio Grande Valley as we look at our satellite and radar. You're continuing to see those showers picking up, especially out towards uh, western Cameron County. Uh, as those showers continue, the main concern is an additional one to three inches of rain possibly falling uh, pretty much with this entire storm as that continues to push its way on through. Uh, more spotty showers popping up out towards uh, Star County as well when you get out towards Rio Grande City and out towards Roma as well. So we're going to continue tracking those storms and this is what it looks like. We're going to go county by county with Star County. Uh, there's a heavy cell of showers but then look at this. Right underneath you're seeing more showers popping up and the same once we move out towards Hidalgo County. Uh, here's some of that rain we were talking about uh, as you move up I-69. Anyone that's going to be driving up towards Lynn San Manuel or up towards Falfurias itself, you're going to notice those uh, heavy showers building up and this just built up over the past hour or two. Cameron County, you're not left out. Out towards Harlingen here in our studios, we're noticing uh, and we can hear the thunder here inside the studio, and that's how big this uh, quick moving storm is, uh, and it's been just been building up, uh, so you will continue to see that rain. In fact, we do have warnings and watches in effect until about 10 p.m. tonight, and again, that possibility of that one to three inches of rain possibly falling in already saturated area, and overall, the watch will remain until about 8 p.m. tonight. Let's go and take a look at your estimated rainfall accumulation over the past 24 hours. Notice, this is what Chris Ramirez was talking about. You notice the most of the ground already saturated with La Jolla seeing up to 14 inches of rain over the past 24 hours. Again, because of Hannah, but the remnants of Hannah. A lot, all those showers that have continued to pick up uh, and they will continue to pick up as we move on. Now that it's slammed out towards the mountainous areas of Mexico, uh, that sh those showers, that cyclonic activity still happening, still coming in from the south, bringing that moisture in and we're seeing that rain. In fact, for today, we hit about 94 degrees in Brownsville. Out towards Harlingen, we hit about 93 degrees uh, and out towards McAllen, 90 degrees. One of the last few days, we're only going to hit about 90 degrees. By the time we reach the middle of the week, towards the end of the week, it's a big change as we start to move right back up to the mid-90s once again. Winds, though, still a bit calm out there, except for we're seeing those uh, showers. And, and this is a good example right here. Lightford at 25 miles per hour and Raymondville at around 23 miles per hour. Everyone else, and not so much. And you notice, storms not storms. So that's where we're starting to see that really starting to pick up. Future cast showing that we still have that pot spotty shower in effect uh, possible up until tomorrow morning. So please be aware of that. Uh, over the next few hours, though, we're staying within that 80 degree mark. 6 a.m. We should be hitting about 80 degrees overall. Tonight, staying around that mid 70s, 76 degrees in La Jolla, 79 in McAllen, 78 in Wesico, and 80 degrees out towards Brownsville itself. But it's going to feel like it's just a bit hotter. Look at this. By the time we reach Friday, even though it's 93 degrees, it's going to feel Feel like it's 106 degrees out there and the same out towards next weekend as well. So the chance of rain remaining with us at least until Wednesday and then starts to pick up past that. In fact, look at your seven-day forecast. Your weekend is always in view. Possibility of heavy rain on Tuesday and Wednesday with a few isolated showers by the time we reach Thursday and Friday. And overall, back up to those mid-90 degree marks. Big change from when we saw Hurricane Hannah make landfall.